So, I released this video. So down this roadway, Capitol Avenue is where main recycling is, is at, and that is where Robert Card used to work. Stuff like this, it's always weird how they always end up just shooting themselves. And all these questions and all these things just go unanswered. Police sources telling our sister station WMTW that his body was actually found in a dumpster. Now that opens up so many questions. And a lot of you really liked it. And I'm really interested in all this type of stuff. So I thought I would make another video kind of going down that road and focusing on one of the main MK Ultra lead scientists over all their studies and human experiments that they did. He was the lead psychiatrist. Him and Sidney Gottlieb, but Jolly West, he kind of shows up a lot of places. Louis Jollyon West, better known as Jolly West, devoted his professional inquiries into the outer reaches of human experience. Over the course of his career as a leading U.S. psychiatrist and cult expert, he examined brainwashed prisoners of war, victims of kidnapping and abused children. Later, his research included post-traumatic stress syndrome, alcohol and drug abuse, pain, sleep problems, dreams, and hypnosis. He somehow always finds his way into interesting scenarios with certain people such as Jack Ruby, the killer of Lee Harvey Oswald, the person who shot JFK. West examined Jack Ruby and helped convince the court that Ruby should not be sentenced to death. Ruby, he said, suffered from major mental illness apparently precipitated by the stress of his trial and its aftermath. In the few minutes before the session started, we managed to talk with Ruby. I wanted to get out of the beer business, to be honest with you. And I've never been a, a person looking for a fast bus. I lived in the back of my car for two years. That's right. Did you ever speak to Lee Oswald in your life? Never have. Never. I never used the term angry. That's not in my vocabulary. And any enterprise I went into was specifically Legitimate? Was in jail, and the person that got sent to go help him out with all the things he was dealing with was Jolly West. And after he met with Jolly West, he kind of went insane started saying all these crazy things and becoming incoherent and he also worked at the Haight-Ashbury Free Medical Clinic in uh, San Francisco and they did a lot of experiments there actually Charles Manson's parole officer that he had to go meet with and he used to go to this clinic anyway with his girls and they used to get like SCE checks and all this stuff and get their stuff taken care of. And at the same time, Charles Manson would go in and he would do his monthly or whatever checks with his parole officer. And his parole officer was also doing science experiments on rats and the effects of amphetamines and the effects of uh, hallucinogens and how that would affect the violence in these rats. So that's cool. Nothing weird there. So, I mean, there's even more we could get into, but I think I'm gonna leave it there for now. Um, if you guys like this, just drop a like, follow, and I'll probably do another one. Peace.